Hi everybody, welcome to another Beep Street Drumbo the modular groove box tutorial. So in this video I would like to introduce you to the ramp module. So let's click on the plus sign, let's go on the processor and let's add very quickly an ADSR. Let's also move to the right that module to add also an oscillator as a generator. So in this way we have a quick synth with only one oscillator. And it perfectly works. Now let's Move to the right of the oscillator, let's select the modulator, let's scroll down to the bottom and select the ramp module. Now let's connect the dial for the tune to the output of that ramp module and let's move to maximum that ramp uh, module. So let's um, uh, change the setting now and go through. The ramp module is used to ramp up and down this, uh, the value of a parameter. So in this case, if you set it to go up to 1, it will ramp up to the maximum of that value, to 1. The same, it will ramp down to 0, or it will set it to 0 or 1. It will do that with a reference period of 1 bit, but you can change that, for example, to 4 bits or a quarter of a bit. And, the with, and within that period, it will use also um, a number of uh, steps, which are called duration, in terms of determining how quickly it will um, move within uh, uh, that period. So let's set it up now to go down to zero. Let's click on the keyboard. Okay, now let's go and set it up to go to one over four durations within a bit. And let's try. Okay, it's up to one. Let's move it up to down to zero. As you can hear, it's going up down to uh, zero and it will stay now down that to zero, so if you want to go up to one, you have to select that one and, and then play again the key. And if that doesn't work, set it again to zero. It's gone down to zero, then let's set it back to one. It will go up to one. Let's change the duration to make it longer. Let's set it down to zero, it will go down to zero. with a different duration. So now you might be wondering what uh, use can I have for this? Well, it can become very handy in some of your bits if you want to do an introduction, for example, if you want to ramp in up a sound or if you want to change a parameters up and down. For example, let's say that we have um, um, four notes like so, maybe actually two notes like so. Let's click and change the duration like that. Okay. And now what we are going to do on the we click and hold on the first note and we go up to the ramp and we select move up to one. Now we click on the second note old and we change that to go down to zero. Now let's play. Of course, that was changing the pitch, okay, in terms of changing the tune for that oscillator, and that is how it, it, it was working. So that's is an example to illustrate, um, um, for you to understand and illustrate to you how you can use it. So let's double click on the ramp, free uh, dial, and let's remove that. Let's add now, for example, under processor, a filter. Now let's click on the cutoff filter, and let's select that it will be affected by the ramp free and let's change that ramp free to maximum. We have still the same parameter locks, which are this how they're called for each of the two different steps. So then let's click play and, and hear what happens. As you can hear, I'm changing the duration down, so it will go up uh, quicker, which is in the four it will go to higher frequencies quicker. Of course, you can decide to use it in completely different ways. You can decide instead of in affecting the filter cutoff, you could affect uh, other parameters in your synth. And you can combine these with different notes, etc. Multiple 
ramp module and so on to create very sophisticated uh, uh, sound with the right texture that you're looking for. So I hope this was useful to you and as always see you next time. Bye!